Now, your Alaska Link weather for Juneau and Southeast. Good evening. That outflow wind is going to continue to stay in place, but that threat for those higher wind gusts is starting to fall back as we are seeing that here through the overnight. Still going to see that that east northeasterly flow that's keeping temperatures fairly steady within those teens still has that small threshold of maybe getting a few more of those peak wind gusts, but then really watching those winds ease, but still going to stay a little bit on the windy side again. Still that little outflow boundary in place through our Friday, which is going to be paired up with some cold temperatures and some of the last sunshine we are going to see as we are going to be turning back to an active weather pattern from Saturday into Sunday as this next system is going to be lifting from the uh, from the south to the north and as it lifts north this the system is going to be running into that cold air so it is going to be a system that's going to start snowfall but then transition to rainfall now if we start snowfall see accumulation and we're adding snowfall on the snowpack that we have and then transition to rain that could cause for some concerns there for some flooding potential with the snow melt and the runoff and already high waterways so that's going to be something to definitely keep an eye on with this wet weather pattern that will last into next week we'll have to definitely keep an eye on those numbers but here we'll still have at least another 24 to 48 hours of some quiet conditions where we have high tide for our friday at 7 17 in the morning and then 8 32 into the evening we roll through our friday with temperatures again staying cooler we only drop to 17 but we don't have much warming holding to a high of 20 so we're actually seeing our high temperature cooler than what our average high or average low should be at this time of the year. So cooler temperatures in place. As I mentioned, that outflow boundary does continue. It doesn't have that high gust threshold, but we are seeing that it is creating a brisk wind chill through the Juneau area, keeping feel like temperatures throughout the day into those single digits. Some areas up through Haines and Skagway will even see that those feel like temperatures will be within those uh, single digits to teens below zero. So some headlines there in place as those winds continue even creating some blowing and drifting snow through Saturday. So we see that that wind again, it's not overall blustery, but still going to keep some of those stronger winds, though we keep sunshine through our entire Friday. So if you have been enjoying the sunshine, bundle up, limit that outdoor time though, especially as frostbite uh, and hypothermia can settle in in minutes at times, especially if you stay within that wind and have that on exposed skin. Uh, we have seven hours and 22 minutes of that daylight to enjoy, gaining just under four minutes now per day. We will do a high those high temperatures below normal nearly area wide but what we'll see as we roll into our Saturday is that next system is lifting from the north so it's going to start to overspread that precipitation morning lows hold into those teens and 20s and then highs start to creep back into those 30s especially up through areas of Sitka and then that spreads its way up through Juneau through about Monday with that precipitation so as mentioned starting snowfall until we reach that freezing mark and then that transition to rainfall will need to be watched as we will stay mild into next week.